I'm really passionate about. I've, I've done several seminars with architects and engineers, you know, teaching them what I know. I uh, was in uh, Texas in April and in Birmingham, Alabama in May, um, teaching architects the what I call the do's and don'ts, mm -hmm. uh, what experiences that I've had to try to pass that on so that they don't have to go through all the stuff I had to go through to get where I am today. So to help short circuit that a little bit. You know, I, I would tell people that they need to be passionate about it. You know, if you don't believe in doing shelters, then don't, you know, don't do it. Don't, but don't talk your client out of not doing them. You know, so you gotta, you got to believe in it a little bit, or I shouldn't say a little bit, but a lot. Um, you got to have that passion to want to do it right. Um, there's a lot of nuances, as we talked about, that, you know, you can do them right or wrong. Um, I tell people to get help. You know, designers seem to want to try to figure out everything themselves, and I think that's where a lot of the complaints have come, that these aren't cookbooks. You know, they, they want to go there and already have it spelled out for them how to do it, uh, and it's just not there. So get some help. Get some experience to help to watch over your shoulder, you know, to make sure that you don't make the mistakes. I got a detail just yesterday uh, of a shelter shutter that somebody obviously didn't know what they were doing, and they thought it would work. And it's a, the it's in a school, and they're ready to open up the school, but these shutters and they've got like ten or twelve of them. And the system just is not going to work. So, you know. And all they, all they really had to do was find somebody, you know, to say, hey, do you think this would, my idea would work? You know, run it by somebody. There's all kinds of resources out there to help you. Um, but, yeah, and it's, that's heartbreaking to me because, first of all, somebody's either going to have to replace that system to make it work, you know, or they're going to pay additional money to make it work. But somehow they got to make it work, and again they're paying extra money. Somebody's going to pay extra money to make that system work, and it would have been worth the, you know, paying even if you had to pay somebody, you know, for two hours of their time to say, "Can I run this by you and make sure?" It's been a heck of a lot cheaper than what somebody's going to have to deal with now, and we're talking, you know, fifty, sixty thousand dollars. What we're talking about, so. You know, get somebody to help you that, that has some experience. The NSSA has been trying to come up with a way, as they certify these residential shelters, uh, they've been trying to come up with a way, is there a way that we can certify designers? The big difference is, is we're creating this widget that we can test and we can take the whole thing and put it in the test chamber and test it versus testing an intangible and that intangible being experience and heart and all the passion and all that stuff is what you're trying to certify and that becomes really difficult to do. We're getting closer um, to coming and maybe coming up with a with a method of doing that either through you know, a written test and training, you know, type system. But it is it is really tough to do that. So um, that is yet to be figured out. But I, I think you're getting closer all the time uh, with that. But, you know, again, you, you got to have the experience. you got to have the passion. And if you don't have the experience, get some help.